you guys know, I've been after witches on The Sims for quite a while. So much so that I even downloaded loads of witchy mods and my own entire witches series just to try and have witches in The Sims. Finish that and then they announced Realm of Magic. However, it's fine. I'm excited. We've got a new cast of characters for this series. If you've been on my channel a while, you'll know exactly who they are. If you don't, let me explain that intro and those characters really quickly. So the family you saw at the beginning then are the Villa Reals, uh, Phoenix, Fran and their daughter Raven. Phoenix, as part of my Witches series, had been given a little bit more life after she'd previously died. The kind of clue that that was going to happen was in her name. But her life was still greatly shortened, so she died at the beginning of this episode. And of course, poor little Fran and Raven were devastated. Fran was struggling to stay in the home in the Del Sol Valley. He wanted to move somewhere else without all of the sad memories. And what do you know? A new neighborhood has opened up, which is Glimmerbrook. Here is how it looks. It's a really tiny neighborhood. This is one thing I'm a little bit disappointed about. There's only four, well, three resident, no, four residential lots, sorry. And then there's a bar called the Elixir and Brews. Obviously, this is the portal to the other world. I haven't visited it yet because I wanted to save it for when we do it together. They've moved out to a house here. I think Raven was kind of like, why have you brought me here? I hate it. It's miserable. It's sad. But she's kind of slowly got used to her new life as she's aged up into a beautiful teenager. So I have given her the Spellcrafter and sorcery uh, kind of goal for her aspiration in life, which also gives her the quick learner thing, so that's pretty cool. And since she's living such an outdoorsy life as well, I've given her the love the outdoors tray. Here is her teenage self. I think she looks pretty cool. And I gave, I kind of vibe that she looked quite liked, like the color blue and like galaxy kind of vibes. That's what I've kind of gone for on her. Oh, we can't forget little Salem, who was Phoenix's cat sticking around to look after Raven. And then the other girl you saw at the beginning there as well was Nisa. She is from my Rags to Riches series. She is Raven's cousin. The two of them kind of grew up together and I've given her the purveyor of potions and the collector trait. So they've both got the two new aspirations for Realm of Magic. They've both got two different ones. So whereas Nisa is going to be focusing a little bit more on potions, which kind of makes sense. Her mum is um, a chef and a baker. So coming up with recipes to new potions and crafting them is kind of in her blood. She also grew up on a farm. Her dad was a woodworker as well, so she's pretty good with her hands. And for Raven, obviously her mum was kept alive by magic. Maybe there's still a part of her that wonders if she could bring her back once again with the use of some spell casting. So that is her motivation to join them. So hopefully that makes sense. I am so excited to join this series. Let me go ahead and get into it and show you guys the house. So I added a house from the gallery and then just kind kind of gave it some new Glimmerbrook stuffs just to make it look extra spooky and cool. This is Raven's room upstairs. I'm kind of vibing the way that they went about the houses. They just needed to get away. This house became very quickly available. Their previous occupier disappeared somewhere and never returned. They left behind all their furniture. So it just kind of seemed like the easy option to go ahead and move straight into the house. So there's loads of stuff from Realm of Magic in this house. Lots of you guys probably don't recognize. If you don't recognize it, then it's probably from the new park. Uh, and there's a lot of cool stuff in here. I haven't used all of it yet because some of it I want to save specifically for Raven and Nita as they continue their journey. But there's definitely loads of cool stuff that I'm sure you guys are spotting and noticing. I love anything witchy. Anything occult, I am so there for. So I'm super, super excited by all this. And the house is also right next to the portal. It's the closest lot to the portal, which also kind of makes sense as to why it suddenly became available. Now, whereas I've been a teenager, 
there's a lot kind of going on in your life, a lot of changes. I feel like she's kind of getting over and moving on with things a little bit faster than Fran is. Fran, who was a musician before, he's kind of like, well, I'll just come out here and write songs. Realistically, I don't ever need to work again, so I can just kind of like live a more simple life out here and one that doesn't remind me of her. Oh, and he's getting chased by Sailor. <laughs> Salem's like, I know how to keep you distracted, Fran. I know how to make you not think about Phoenix. I'ma just chase you. And here are our two ladies. So I'm gonna go ahead and add Nita to the family. She won't be a permanent family member. It will just be while I'm recording the series because it makes things a little bit easier. And I'm kind of gonna say that they're almost in like a school, like half term or like a, a summer holidays. And oh my gosh, Sammy has just found out. Sammy who was um, Raven's, also Raven's cousins, but kind of more like a brother to her. He has found out. He is also a witch, yeah, can I just I say. If you're new to this, it's probably like, this is so much information. But don't worry, I'm gonna try and keep it pretty chill. Anita's like, I wanted to come and like, see the neighborhood, see what you were up to. I've heard that you moved into the back and beyond and I feel kind of sorry for you. So I thought I'd try and keep you company. And this is the new neighborhood. It has a bridge, which I think you guys are pretty excited to take like uh, some pictures on. Some little screenies in game, cause let's face it, it's a pretty cool place to take them. And the only kind of like non-residential lot at the moment is this bar. So I figured maybe I, I know they're minors, like they're teenagers. They're not going here to drink. They're just going here to try and like figure things out and see who all the locals were. So this is our little bar. I think she's got some of the new hair. Yeah, she does. Okay, interesting look there. Interesting look. <laughs> Whenever you mix it with your own CC, it's kind of hilarious. And we just got some nice little catch up opportunities between the two of them. Nita being like, oh, I've not really seen you. Wow, your hair looks so dark in here. She's meant to have ginger hair, but she's like, I've not really seen you since everything with your mom. I hope you've been okay. My mom sends like all of her regards and stuff to you. She, she seems pretty angry about it. But I also think a bit of the reason why she's not super sad is because mentally she's like, I can fix this. I can make everything right. I can fix things for dad. I just have to figure out like where this whole magic thing comes from. Phoenix is like, can rise more than once, right? And okay, we got some locals here. We got some witchy dressed locals. Okay, this is fun. Daryl charm. We've got Grace Anasi, Simeon Silverswater, Alexi Alusa. Oh, I like how he's dressed. Not so much the eyebrows though. And Tomax Colette. A lot of these guys from the trailer and from the key art as well. So we got a lot of like witchy vibes in here and I'm kind of vibing. Maybe we should just like introduce ourselves to like a few of the locals. Maybe someone will give us a little hint about the portal. I think that would be a cooler way to go into it. Oh, wow. That is magic right there. That's the real magic, gang. That is the real magic. Yeah, you know how you can like, ask about vampires? I was wondering if you can like ask about witches or whether you can like talk about um, Glimmerbrook, like you can talk about Strangerville. However, I'm not really seeing any of those options. I don't actually know if they're like a thing that's in game. So all they really know so far is that the locals kind of dress sort of weird. Oh my gosh, I can't believe how much she looks like Phoenix. She's the spit of Phoenix. <laughs> Also, I feel like Nita is just like curly haired Willow from Rags to Riches, but somehow even more beautiful and she looks like more grown up somehow. Yeah, no gossip. Nita's like, Raven, I feel sorry for you. You've had traumatic stuff happen. Uh, now you're living in this place and this place blows. Like, it's boring. There's nothing to do here. And it's raining and miserable. And yeah, this place is lame. Oh my gosh, I'm like getting distracted, like looking over the edge. Look, it seems like it goes on for ages. I wish it did. I wish the neighborhood was a bit better. So let's check out what they've got for their um, aspirations. She has to become a spellcaster, does Nita. Travel to the magic realm and learn a potion recipe. Raven has to also become a spellmaster, also travel through the realm. But instead of learning a potion, she needs to learn a spell. It stopped raining, so I'm gonna see if the girls fancy just like a nice little quiet walk through town. Probably needs to have been like, wow, I thought Strangerville like had nothing going on. This place is even smaller and like the bar sucks just as much as it does in Strangerville. Why can't we live somewhere cool like the Del Sol Valley? Like, I'm surprised you don't want to like hang out more at Summer's house. Why would you want to come here? This place is so lame. Girls, you aren't even ready. I get as a teen girl, this place would genuinely be kind of sucky. Oh, what? There's another bridge. <gasps> they could run through the water. Ah, that's so cool. I did not expect them to go that way. Yeah, as a teen girl, you would want to live in like San Moishuno. You'd want to live in the Del Sol Valley. Oh, sorry. I'm really annoyingly getting distracted by everything. But look, there's a little cute thing there, but you can't go to it. But here, I mean, literally, 
There's a nice nature walk through the trees. There's a little bridge. There's a little water you can run through. Other than that, there is kind of like absolutely nothing though. But oh, what's that? They've turned this- Wait a minute! You were in the bar a minute ago. How are you all the way down here? Yeah, look, she's like angry. Like, this place is rubbish. I want more to do. But come on, girls. You can't tell me you haven't spotted what is going on right over there. This girl walking by like, yeah, their minds are about to be blown. Oh, wow, there's a rainbow. Oh my gosh, the rainbow was in the icon as well. I love the icon for this world. I think it's like the prettiest one yet. And they're both like, huh, what is this over here? Like, let's just go, let's just go and have a look what it is. Listen to it. It kind of makes a noise. It looks like the portal um, to the nether in Minecraft because it also makes creepy noises, but without making horrible, scary noises and going to hell. The girls are both kind of like, Huh. Oh, wow. What just happened to you? You're just feeling super relaxed. Yeah. Oh, wow. She's still raging. We are literally right in front of the portal. Oh my gosh. Look at the runes on the top. It's so freaking cool. Middle one kind of looks weirdly Korean, but okay. Oh, can you hear that? They're both like, what is that noise? Nita's like, touch it. Touch it. Go on, Raven. You touch it. She's like, why do I have to touch it? Just touch it, okay? We have to make this place more interesting. So I'm gonna get her to go ahead. <gasps> I thought you'd have to, like, investigate it. You can go straight in. She's like, fine. <laughs> fine. I'll go first. I'll give this a go. <gasps> no freaking way! Are you good? Oh my gosh. The swelling vortex appears to lead to a realm beyond our own reality. Do you dare cross the threshold? <sighs> I'm ready. Take me there. Oh my gosh, this just makes me jealous that I don't have a portal in real life. I want to travel to a realm of mystery, okay? See, this is what you can set your mind to if you're a bored teenage girl with a mission, okay? This is what we can do, guys. This is what- Oh! <gasps> okay! Okay! Straight away! Wow! Wow, 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 wow! That was just- Wow! Okay, this is what is through the realm. Can you guys hear that? Like- <gasps> A shooting star! Okay, this is- this- this is the realm of magic, you guys. It is insanely beautiful. It is so, so cool. <gasps> what? There's a little pipe over there! Oh my gosh, gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. It seems to consist of a few different floating islands. I think you must travel to portals between them all. This seems to be like the central portal. This is like, what is this place? What is this place? Where am I? What we're doing? I'm hyped. I'm excited. My phone's in the way. Okay, we've got different portals. That one goes to the dueling grounds. This one goes to the gardens. This one goes to Caster's Alley. Okay, I feel like I'm gonna have to potentially keep them. Maybe I don't need to keep them together. But I feel like at first the two girls must just be like what is this place how are all these people flying everywhere i'm not sure if we should have come here nita our, our runes are glowing now as well i guess the first thing to do is head inside here and kind of just see what the happy hops are these are the people from the bar earlier on they've just gone here without even a second thought and the girls are taking their first steps into an exciting and magical new adventure both looking styling as well loving the socks with the converse they're cute I want her trousers and cardigan so badly. In fact, I just want her hair. Her hair is amazing. Okay, so we're in here. There's a few different rooms. There's people like cast it, like practicing their spell casting and stuff. But there doesn't really seem to be... I mean, this woman's got a book. I don't... I'm not really 100... Oh my gosh. Cook mac and cheese. I thought it was a cauldron, but it's a mac and cheese cauldron. Oh, <gasps> okay. Oh, oh, look at this. Oh, you've got a rude... Oh, you're the guy from the trailer. Okay, you need some... You need some CC on you, friendo. Mm. Look, it's because he's an occult. He's a spellcaster. Morgan em Ember. Okay, you guys were excited to see what he could potentially look like with some CC. So let's CC my boy up, you know? Oh, wow. Let's not make him that old. Okay, this dude has huge eyes. I even made them smaller, but they're still really, really big. And he wants the spellcraft and sorcery trait. Okay, I just wanted to make him, like, fit into the rest of the world. Rest of my world a little bit more. He He's begging for a piercing, this guy is. Like, look, that looks so much better now. There you go, friendo. I'm always here to help. Which also makes me think, Nita. Nita needs a nose piercing. Like, that girl's crying out for one. Okay, so where did he go? <laughs> we CC'd him up and then my boy ran away. He ain't even by the mac and cheese. If he's not by the mac and cheese, there's no hope. Because that's exactly where I'd be hanging out. And look, we can't interact with a lot of stuff yet because we're... 
we're just not all that magical. I actually do not know how to become a spellcaster. So this could be our first uh, drama. We're gonna go introduce ourselves to this dude here because he has a rune above his head. This seems like, do these runes match what is on here? Yeah, so there's three different types of rune and he has this one here, okay. Simon Silver's Water, he has the first rune. <gasps> Ask how to use magic. The magical sages are only able to, are the only spellcasters that can bestow their power onto others. What kind of spellcaster is he though? Okay, I'm gonna get her to ask him. And then, Nita, can you find another sage? Yeah, there's a sage up, you can speak to Newt. Wait, 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 maybe I need to do this the other way around because you want to be my potions person. Oh no, look! <gasps> He's willing to help us. Learning the magical arts is a wonderful and perilous journey. Are you prepared to become a spellcaster? Okay, I'm gonna get Nita to learn from him because this dude upstairs, mind you, let me just check on him. I'm sorry, I'm like cussing up everybody here. Who are you? You don't even want to become a potions master. We need to find a potions master. We need to find Professor Snape. So the one we haven't found yet is this one in the middle. So I don't know quite what that one means, but I'm actually gonna go ahead and get them both to ask Newt because uh, Newt, he's not called Newt, Claire. I don't know if we, uh, he looks to me a lot, a lot like the guy from the new Harry Potter series, which I have to admit, I, I, I'm not quite as into the new one as I am into um, the older Harry Potter stuff. I don't know if that guy's called Newt Salamander or something. Or am I just making... I don't even know. We're confused right now. But we're gonna ask him because he has CC on and so do we. So I just feel like it's a better fit, you know? He's gonna show us. Look, this, this is how magic looks. It's pretty amazing. It is pretty cool. Are you ready? And Phoenix is like, there's something I have to do. There's someone I have to see again. I was born ready. <gasps> oh my gosh, look, 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 look. <gasps> oh, oh, look at her eyes. Oh, I missed it, but it's fine. We're gonna see it on Nita. I, in order to bestow you the, ma the gift of magic on you, I will need seven magical moats. I have granted you the moat site in order to see and retreat. This is so freaking cool. Uh, in order to see and retrieve them, search the realm for moats and return them to me quickly before the spell wears off. Okay, Nita, you need yours as well because we need to do this together, lady, okay? Oh, look, she's showing he's showing Nita as well. Nita's so freaking beautiful, man. And Nita is just like, uh, I mean, it's something to do. I get the vibe that like Raven is like, I want to learn magic. I need, I need to speak to my mother. I need to bring her back. Whereas Raven's just like, oh, this seems like good crack. I'll, I'll go along with it. And I want to see your eyes glow. <gasps> so that's the spell that is going to allow her to see the moats. She's like, yeah, I kind of need to pee red now though. Oh my gosh. If you're going to pee, you need to pee quickly because our eyesight only lasts a certain amount of time. I don't even know where to pee in the realm. Why does one pee in the realm? Oh, look where that's sat. Oh, it's so freaking cool. It's like a conservatory. Okay, I'm, I'm kind of worried. I'm not gonna lie about this whole toilet situation. Is there a bush we can use? No, okay. Right, we've got the site. We need to look for some moats. <gasps> This looks like a moat. Okay, do each of them have to collect separate moats? If so, oh no, there's one here. I could have made this real hard for myself. Okay, I'm letting them all get them at an equal rate. Oh, there's one down here as well. Please don't pee yourself before collecting them all, okay? Man, there's loads, we're fine. Oh, look at this glowing crystal. Beautiful. Oh, I wanna see the other world so much. Like I wanna travel through the portal. Let you go from here and then, pshum. You're up in this gorgeousness here. But I feel like we should first, like, it doesn't feel right being- There's the final girl! Oh my gosh. It doesn't feel right being here without actually being- What is she doing? Being a spellcaster. It feels like I'm cheating somehow. This girl looks so cool. Oh, she got like cool- Oh! Come downstairs, I must see you! Oh, there's- to Is there toilets down here? Oh, found you a toilet, Nita! Yeah, so this is the final sage. Okay, she looks maximum sagey, I would say. She looks like legit sage. Okay, we've got another one here. Oh, don't accidentally fall off the edge of the map like I just tried to make you do. We've got four moats so far. We're doing pretty good. <gasps> Look at this. Spellcasters with the moat hound perk can also eat them for some spellcaster XP. That is pretty freaking cool. Okay, she's got five. She only needs one more. Oh, he's here. He's here. Okay, go and turn in your moats. And then Nita, you need one more, babes. There's one here. Go get that one and then you can come and turn them in. Oh wow, that's an interesting look we got going on there. Here are your moats. What does it mean now? What are you gonna, oh, what's he gonna do? Oh, 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 we've got the magic within us. Oh, is that it? Are we a spellcaster now? 
Very fun is now a spellcaster. You can view a spell book by clicking on the perks panel or by clicking on this button in the window. <gasps> this is so cool! Raven Villarreal's Spellbook. A spellcaster is nothing without their trusty spellbook. Every incantation, ritual, and elixir that a spellcaster has learned is recorded here. You notice when I, when I get no, like excited, I scratch my arms and my chest. I'm so red. A spellcaster can learn new spells and potion recipes by reading magical tomes, speaking to sages, or by practicing magic. A spellcaster is defined by what they learn and study. What kind of spellcaster are you? There is practical magic, repario, scrubario, delicio. Floral, Floralial, Floralial, Transportal, oh this is not good for me not being able to say and like speak, Transportalate, Transportalates, Copy Pasta, <laughs> Herbio, okay, and then we've got Mischief Magic, Desperio, Deliriate, Furio, Infactuate, oh my gosh Sammy don't, Sammy, Keep this book away from Sammy. Burgule, Morphie, and Strangify. Oh, there was more practical, by the way. Home Wardial and Right of Ascension. Oh! The sages are the types of magic! Oh. So, the new guy is... He's not new. Morgan guy is this one. He's a practical magician. The other guy we saw was this one, which he's an untamed magic. An untamed spellcaster dedicates himself to not the only the most powerful and uncontrollable spells. Inferniae, zip zap, neurocall. Okay, I think we can tell which one Raven is gonna go for. Chilio, minionize, d -de Deathify, Decursify, and Duplicato, okay. And then finally, there's Alchemy. Alchemy is what I would like Nita to do. A student of the alchemical alchemical arts studies potions, elixirs, tonics of all kinds. Who knows what powder can be brewed up by a skilled spellcaster. Potion of good fortune, potion of plentiful needs, potion of nausea, nimble mind, magical aura, alluring aura, emotional stability. Oh man, I know a lot of my sims that need that one. Perk, purging, forced friendship, Masterful insults, rejuvenation, curse cleansing, immortality, transcendent chamber, prompt resurrection. Oh my gosh, these spells are kind of OP. Practical is meant to be helpful and useful, by the way, and mischief is obviously the pranks one. Okay, so I don't think I can open any of them yet. I need to study before I can do anything. Let's go ahead and get Nita to uh, hand in her mokes as well. And then honestly, I want to find an alchemist. I want to find full metal alchemist. But I want to find an alchemist so that Nita can learn from someone too. And then like, where do we- where's Olivando's? Like, where do I get my wand? Where's Diagonali? That's what I'd be wondering. Okay, you ready to see, uh, Rita- Rita? <laughs> Who's she? Nita become a spellcaster too? Okay. She's still just like, I'm just here for the bunts. Right now, she doesn't quite have the super interest in it. But I think when she starts learning how to make potions and stuff, I think she's gonna actually be secretly quite intrigued by it all. <gasps> Look, she can already go and experiment. Okay, please let there be an alchemist sage because I'm kind of desperate for one. Like Newt's watching over being like, just be careful, okay? You're still pretty new to all this stuff and if you're not careful, you could definitely end up- What are you doing down there? You could definitely end up hurting yourself or burning yourself or making a potion that's kind of dangerous. So just go easy. Meanwhile, I'm like, where do I get my wand? That's what I want to know. <gasps> A glimmer stone. Oh, so I can travel to the med- I can destroy it as well. I can travel to the magical realm at any time using a glimmer stone. Which I guess is pretty good if you don't actually live in Glimmerbrook. Oh wow, she's got herself a spoon and everything. She's kind of making like a little swirl in there. While you experiment and have a little bit of fun there, Raven, who's peeing right now, I feel like we should go to- not to the dueling grounds, we need a wand, right? I feel like we should go to Caster's Alley. So get your little butt here. <gasps> Look at my needs bar, no! It's so magical looking! Spellcaster's charge, regular. In this range, magic behaves normal. No additional benefits or dangers. Yes, there's dangers to using magic. Okay, that's awesome. <gasps> And there's talent points as well. Right now, we don't have any yet. So it's kind of like vampires and celebrities, isn't it? Okay, let's go to Caster's Alley. I would like to, over time, like, change their dress code to make them, like, look a little bit... Oh my gosh, are you ready? Are you ready? Oh, wow, she just went. Okay. <laughs> She was ready, I wasn't. I would like to change them to make them like dress a little bit more like witches. And oh my gosh, wand, is this Ollivander's? By wand's tomes, 
Unfamiliars! Ah! I want familiar so badly. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. A wood wand. A magician's wand. Or an ancient wood wand. An ancient wood wand is uh, methods of old. This one's cheaper, but it's also way cooler because it looks old. Okay, I'll get one of each for now. And then familiar orb of butterfly, a hex doll, <gasps> an orb of the phoenix. No freaking way she can get one that is literally oh my gosh oh my gosh oh my gosh oh my gosh i can't handle it. i can't handle it <laughs> i sort of feel like ah maybe the orb of phoenix is something she has to earn over the time because it's such something that means so much to her like character i don't feel like she should get that off the bat so i'm gonna get one of each of the other two for now and then i feel like uh, as coming from a farming background this herbia which makes a grown plant a plant grown even the most fallow soils i feel like nita would really appreciate that whereas for raven i'm gonna get her a tome of uh i might get both I'm, I'm just gonna get all of the tomes for now we got a lot of money so we're all good oh <gasps> buy brooms and crystals oh i want to be here so badly oh and then this one's not open wait are you about to open it friend Please be about to open it. And oh my gosh, the daily offerings always change in the shops. A classic wood broom, a magic mop. Oh my gosh, this stuff changes all the time. Okay, I love crystals, so we're gonna get one of every crystal. And then this is a wood broom for a new spellcaster. Okay, I'm gonna get her that as well. Okay, we've been buying stuff left, right, and center. This one isn't open unless he's about to open it. Potion ingredients. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, I can't handle this. I can't handle this. And oh my gosh, I'm going back because I'm like wondering what Nita's doing. She was actually watching a duel. Be I mean, I feel like it's unfair to wear that hat to a duel, but okay. And I don't- Oh my gosh, fly here. Oh my gosh, Nita, get your butt out here. Get your butt out here and watch this. Because it's also really late, so as much as I'd love to keep exploring, there has to be a time limit. Okay, are you ready for this? Are you ready for this? I'm gonna jump on my broom. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, she's on- Oh, oh! Okay, definitely first time flying. Okay, wow, that did not go well. That did not go well, but I feel like it's time for you girls to go home. This place is meant to stay a secret. To be fair, I don't think Fran is gonna actually notice anything going wrong because he's got a lot going on in his own life right now. But they're back through to the other side. Have you got cuts and bruises from falling off your broom? Oh no, you've got some sicknesses. Okay, and we're back here. It's really late at night. I am gonna get them to both head home, but they have found something that definitely makes this not the boring. Can you even see them? Oh yeah, they're all the way over for that. Oh, they look tired, bless them. They have found something that definitely makes this place a lot more interesting than they originally thought. And I am loving this park so far. If you guys like this, please give it a big cheeky thumbs up. I'll have more Realm of Magic for you guys this week. Let me know what you think of our choices so far. And I'll see you guys in another video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.